Hey everyone, I am super excited to unbox this kit. As you know, I'm a massive Little Rainbow Moon fan and um, I have something amazing to reveal if you're not already aware. Jo has finally come out with her own watercolours and as you can see peeking through here um, is the little package of watercolours. Now she was just, I expected just, um, she did ask me to review these and I was only expecting the, um, literally the watercolours, but she sent me the whole creative kit. Um, now if you're not aware of Little Rainbow Moon, Jo creates all these beautiful kits with her own artwork uh, planner kits creative journaling kits uh, all sorts so you have to check out her link to check out the link below to her shop and see all the goodies that she does um, I do have a amazing discount exclusive discount for you for a full 15% off which I will leave below um, but for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop you back up here and I'm going to unbox this and we'll unwrap it rather and then I'm going to do a in-depth review of her watercolours so one second stay tuned right let's balance you up here zoom you in a bit like so um right let me just put some washi down so I don't make sure you don't go out of shop right okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unwrap this now and show you all the goodies that you get in these kits. As I said, she does do other kits, she does planner kits as well, but um, I'm a massive, oh, massive fan of her creative kits. I love them so, so much. And you do build up a collection of wonderful journal fodder. Um, so this feels really, really packed. It, feel, oh, it feels so nice, like so many goodies in here. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, so... I'm going to be careful because I can see all the stars there. So nice. Okay, just pour it all out. It doesn't matter. Right. Okay, so here are her watercolours, which I'm going to be uh, reviewing for. Oh, look at that. Reviewing for you in a minute. I can see through the... Yeah, look, look. Oh, my goodness. Right, set those to one side. Right, I, th I need to look at this first because I just saw it straight away and I was like, oh, my goodness. Look, she's got a pin badge. If you haven't already guessed, the theme for this kit is rainbows. I just love this so much, this pin. Really lovely. And obviously she has as well her own washi. So this is literally her artwork made into washi. It's so beautiful. Oh, look. Oh, my days. Look at that. Oh, wow, Joe. Sorry, look at it. I just thought it was... Um, rainbows but I didn't expect this bit as well that's so lovely oh my goodness I love that so much so just pop that to one side so that's the washi next we have um rainbow like stick it stick, ugh, sticky notes these again brilliant for journaling um so yeah you can just sort of like pop that in the journal spread or whatever just leave to one side like this would be really handy for me to write leave to one side in my cabin just to make notes on but I also would love to use this in a journal spread as well oh my goodness okay so she's included this beautiful washi so there's a sample of her own washi as well here and these other pieces of washi oh that's well nice that's such a good idea when you've used these um use these samples up you can always reuse the card as well that's brilliant oh wow okay so um I've noticed that Joe's started to um, include guest artists as well. And in this kit, she has Julie Campbell. Um, let me just zoom in there. Okay, Julie Campbell, aka Creative Little Hut, is a mixed media artist living in a small town on the southwest coast of Scotland, surrounded by the seas and hills. She works with collage, watercolour and acrylic paint to create whimsical gardens and lands landscapes for her girls from her little... Got a little garden studio. I've got a little garden studio too. Julie is also currently making art books, journals for her Etsy shop. You can see more of her work over on Instagram, Facebook, and her YouTube channel. I love this about Jo because she um, she includes lots of other artists. Um, yeah, and I, I just love that, and so promotes other people as well. Let's just open this. Okay. 
like there's space for everyone in this community like the art community because everybody's got a gift of creativity and has their own unique style oh wow okay so we have a piece of ephemera we have a journal card love these wow and stickers as well so you've got different size stickers you have like a big sort of decal sticker and then the smaller ones as well they're so beautiful i love that and again in theme with the um the kit with the rainbows okay next we have oh my goodness okay so she's let's have a look okay so with each um she's done this a few times now which is amazing so once she's had her stickers made she actually goes over them sometimes with gold and i'm going to assume that this is her own gold paint as well which is giving something away if you don't already know what's in the watercolors that's those next we have watercolor um alphabet stickers or alpha stickers and we have some tissue paper which is always really really handy for journaling or collage work some gold numerical stickers just move these stars pop these in here and next oh wow so these are beautiful sheets of um like papers for collage and this would be joe's own work as well i really really love that so much i wouldn't honestly i would not want to rip this up i just love that so much as a standalone piece really like that it's really nice okay next we have i'm assuming okay so yeah so this is a sheet it's like um it feels more so that feels quite matte this feels a bit more glossy so sheets of rainbow now you can you could so I'm going to see if you could make washi strips out of that but yeah you could just cut you could do anything this is literally a creative kit for you to do anything you like again another piece of um, collage paper oh wow this is really cool so this is um, like wrapping paper so you could, that has that feel of wrapping paper it's really really pretty Okay, now, um, before I show you the rest of the items, um, she always includes, I love this as well, that she includes uh, a letter and notes about the kit. So I'm going to read this to you anyway. The inspiration for this kit is obviously rainbows with a few little rainbow moon twists to the theme with wonky, childlike rainbows and abstract pieces, my favourite. So you have lots of colour and touches of gold to represent the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Oh, awesome. So what's in the kit? paint oh can you hear that rain oh my goodness very excited to be including my very first handmade watercolor paint a highly pigmented metallic gold paint called end of the rainbow because normally joe includes like a half pan of paint so obviously in this kit she's she she includes like a um, half pan of her own paint but you can pay extra to receive the whole tin of paints that she has at, at this time anyway um a highly pigmented metallic gold paint called end of the rainbow i will be making a set of paint each month with colors to coordinate with the theme of the creative kit as before you will have the option to purchase the kit with one paint included however from now on you will also have the option to purchase the full set of four which come in a tin stickers as usual you have two sheets of little rainbow moon stickers hope you love them you have a sheet of circular word and phrase stickers to which I have added touches of gold using my handmade gold paint, also a sheet of rainbow alpha stickers. I found I find alpha stickers so useful to add words and titles to my journal pages. I do. I've got like a little collection going in, in my um, sticker drawer. You also have bonus a bonus sheet of gold number stickers. I thought these would be perfect for adding dates. Yeah. Guest artist. I was super excited to collaborate with the very talented Julie Campbell, aka Creative Little Hut, for this kit. She painted the gorgeous rainbow girl, which I made into stickers, etc. for you. Napkin. You have a tie-dye paper napkin, which is, I've just showed you this one here. I add torn pieces of tissue paper to my journal pages using watercolour, oh, sorry, using watered-down PVA glue or Mod Podge to paste them in. Uh, cover underneath and top. So, like, when you use, I don't know if you've used these before in your collage or in your journal pages but most napkins or pieces of tissue come in um 
like the layers so like a couple of layers so what you want to do is you want to peel away the bottom carefully and then when you do paste this down with glue it becomes very very fragile so be careful but when you do paste it down onto the pa your page um your journal page whatever it actually blends into the page and makes it look like it's part of the page like you haven't glued it down like it was just part of that page which is um why these are so popular to use so it's that um a collection of collage papers uh two sheets of my abstract abstract artwork printed on sticker paper i'm really glad i read this now <laughs> so oh wow so that's why it felt different this is sticker paper oh, amazing that is so cool um which is brilliant because these are literally collage sheets for you to rip up but it's too nice to rip up oh okay um the other two designs printed on photo paper okay that's yeah that's those i thought it felt different great for tearing up and adding pieces to journal spreads i also couldn't resist including a piece of wrapping paper i spotted this while out shopping i thought it went so well with the kit you also have a few rainbow inspired photograph style prints oh okay yeah these so i haven't shown you these yet these are the prints Make sure you can see these. Oh my goodness, you just have so much stuff for uh, journaling. I love, love, love these. Oh wow. Oh, how stunning is that? Beautiful. Um, what else? Rainbow wool. I saw this. That's so awesome. I love this colourful rainbow wool. I thought it would be really effective to add to it. Oh yeah. To a handmade tag that's such a good idea but you have loads there so you could do all sorts with that and then the washi samples which we saw earlier where are they um in there in the pile somewhere here i've included free samples free each samples for you i bought if you bought the mystery kit you'll recognize one of them as my own design tissue paper oh these circles I love a bit of tissue paper added to my journal pages. I thought these would be really effective pasted over watercolour background. You get absolutely loads. So, um, yeah, there's so many things you could do with those. And then the rainbow sticky notes. And um, that's it. Don't forget to share it on Facebook or IG. Instagram. Right, and you get as well. Um, so she has these journals made with um, her own artwork on the cover. And I believe you can choose a size um, and in this one is obviously watercolour paper did you actually put journal in here did I miss that no but anyway um, yes she includes her journals as well so have a look at each kit I think you get um, it. she does mix the pages up so like um, in a previous one I received it was like what was it um so you get black paper or uh, a mix of tomato and watercolor so it varies or it has varied so um yeah you need to go and check it out when you go to have a look at her kits to see what uh, inserts are included so just this is so cool they really they're like made out of um i thought they were going to be like paper but they're quite sturdy they're like card let's put that in there it's really pretty in there right okay now that is your creative kit pop all those there right so here is the this is a bit i'm really excited for the watercolors okay look at that sticker i never want to rip these stickers just be really careful really excited oh my goodness oh it's so good and cute oh wow okay She's so lovely. Look at that. Thank you, Joe. Oh, bless her. So nice. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. So included with the tin of paint, she's um, given us. Okay. Oh, okay. So, oh, that's so cool. She's really, really thought this through. So you have um, the different 
right think Jess think <laughs> Right, you have what I'm just a bit overwhelmed. Watercolour card with the name of the paint at the top. So end of the rainbow obviously is going to be the gold. Um, and so you can swatch out the paints onto there. And then she's included, oh look at that, rainbow stickers with a touch of gold. And then in here you have um, a description of the paint. So end of the rainbow is the metallic gold. Um, opaque, oh okay so she's actually included the light fastness rating that's really good and the opacity which obviously so um gold is opaque low low light fastness um light fastness is if you don't know over time color fades so um if you're going to be using watercolors as a piece of art to sell or hang on your wall um it needs to have a good light fastness rating you don't want it to fade quickly so mr blue sky perfect blue sky blue made with a combination of cobalt blue and co cobalt turquoise pigments it reacts well with water and granulates beautifully semi-opaque excellent light fastness purple rain a vibrant magenta warm pinkish toned purple it is stunning on its own but also beautiful when mixed with mr blue sky we're going to do some mixing of these paints so i'm going to give you a really good sort of in-depth review of them transparent good light fastness sunshine souls sparkling sunlight sunlight captured in a pan a delicious buttery warm yellow with a subtle silver pearl shimmer awesome transparent with good light fastness that's awesome okay so um what i will do is i will swatch them out on these cards and then i'm going to mix them so you have a good idea of the color range that you'll get from this small palette obviously you can't mix the gold oh wow look at that but you can obviously add touches of gold to your artwork so these are the colours. Oh my goodness. So she's not, right, not only has she made these from scratch, she's hand moulded them. She makes all of this for the kits as well. But the hand mulling of these watercolours takes a long, long time to achieve that really smooth um, texture to the watercolour. Uh, and it obviously varies with whichever, um, what um, binding you're using and stuff, I believe. So, um, right, so I'm just going to unwrap each of these colours. Oh, wow, okay. Right, and she's added the... This must have taken absolutely forever. She's added, at the bottom, the magnet. If you just peel this away really carefully... Oh wow, okay, you can tell this is, I think she used, I think she's used honey from what I remember, um, which gives it a lovely soft, um, oh wow, like buttery texture and yeah and she's added the names already so you don't have to, um, you don't have to do that, that's really really good. I'm going to use a little bit of paint on there I think, so I don't waste it. These have been poured beautifully. Mm, they actually smell. They smell really good. So look how much you get. Very generous portion in each pan. Honestly, these do remind me of sweets, but don't eat them. <laughs> it's just the unwrapping of them and everything. The smell, they smell. They have this really lovely smell about them as well. Right, so I've got my mister, so I'm going to spray these without trying to get all the goodies as well. Right, and then some more fresh water. Okay. All right, let's swatch these out. I find my favourite brush for swatching. Uh, I hope so. I like this one. Um, so I'm just going to do. Right. Wet on dry for my swatching. 
So we have purple rain first. Once I, like I've just noticed since spraying it, the purple, the vibrancy of the purple's really come up beautifully. Right, okay, so, okay, here we go. Oh, it's so incredibly smooth, wow. I can tell, I can feel it already, how smooth and lovely this paint is. Wow, super, super vibrant. It moves on this paper really beautifully as well. So can afford to pull down some more of this. Which ones does she say granulates really well? Because, what is it this one? Mm, blue. I can't wait to try that one. So that's the purple rain. So this is the blue, Mr. Blue Sky. Wow. These colours are stunning. They're so vibrant. I'm just loving how how this purple is moving around. It's really interesting. Okay, next we have Sunshine Soul. Such a beautiful yellow. Then we have the gold as well. Let's see. Oh wow. I can tell this is going to be a beautiful gold already. Oh yeah. I mean she, this is the gold that she's used isn't it on her stickers as well. It's a really good gold. Oh that's beautiful. So these are the colours. There you go. And I'm just loving. You can see where it's so where I went back in with the water here, you can see how it's bloomed, how it's moved there like that. That looks really, really lovely. So I'm gonna be really these are very beautiful, vibrant colours. I'm impressed already. Oh, love them. So um I thought I would try and swatch them in my um, so I've got an Arteza, oh, blimey, better zoom out a bit. Okay, my Arteza uh, journal, which I use to swatch out all my, my paints. So I thought I would try um, swatching out, I might do them at the back actually. I love these journals because you can put all your, uh, there's a clear envelope at the back so I could put all my little rainbow moon things in there. Um, like the journal cards and things. Right, so I'm just going to set up this page and um, I'm got, let's see, I, I was going to actually write out, draw out the squares, but since there's only, I'm going to be doing the three colours. Um, can you see all of that? Okay, so what I'll do is I will do like a colour chart so you can see how these colours mix. I have this bowl as well, this bowl, this, this ceramic plate which is really really helpful for mixing colours. It works much better than plastic. So, um, oh, blimey, knocking everything everywhere. Let's do this. Just don't want to leave anything out of shot, that's all. There you go. Right. Um, just thinking what order to put them in and I need to make sure I've got enough space so start off with the purple um, so let's just do dot here dot here uh, I really should draw out this chart so I'm just going to be really sort of basic 
this is really sort of rough chart. Next, I'll have the yellow, which will be there, there. I love this paper because um, it's like cartridge, really good, lovely cartridge paper, and it's really light, and the colours dry. Um, they really dry bright. They really pop on this paper. And then the blue. Um, so obviously when I'm mixing these colours, not quite equal, but there you go. Um, let me see. So I want to get a good sort of like 50-50. Um, so I'm going to put a blob of the purple. And then the yellow. Ooh. Maybe a tiny bit more of the yellow, a little bit more. So really interesting. And then next, um, I want the purple and the blue. Okay, so at this point, I just want to interject to say, rookie mistake, that I do realise that the repeat colours were supposed to be one, a lightened, watered-down version, and the other one, uh, a more pigmented, heavier version. So, as you see, I have two repeating colours. Um, one obviously more should have been more pigmented and the other one uh, lighter but hey you learn really lovely oh my goodness and purple and the blue next I want yellow and blue oh wow it makes this lovely green so obviously you can, um, this is like going roughly 50-50. Um, so you can mix different tones, like you can change how much you, you know, mix. You can play around with the colours so you can get different sort of shades. That's lovely. I'm really intrigued by the purple and the yellow to see what I see what just mix it a little differently so there's the purple um, bit, tiny bit of yellow so this is just with like a touch of yellow in the purple see these colors granulating beautifully really really lovely and I thought they were because I thought it was just the blue but you can see some of the granulation as well in this purple and I'm really loving loving how this purple is drying it's beautiful I thought it was going to dry nice because of how it's turning out on this card and this look at this look how this blue is drying as well really nice and I you can see the granulation in this 
green oh sorry it's still wet oops but um yeah i'm loving these here so um this is with the purple with a touch of the yellow so if i was to add just a little more is that the one just a little more yellow and it yeah with the more yellow it, it turns out the same but you can see as it's drying um you can see the purple sort of granu granulating i can't really explain it um i don't know if the camera's going to pick up let me just show you hang on so can you see how that look how beautiful that purple is though so with the yellow and the purple you can see the purple in it you can see how it's drying granulating there and how this green oh my goodness this green that i've made is really really lovely and i love how so if you want to get this color you need to just add a touch of yellow to the purple let me just do um okay so i really like that green so with let's do a bit more in here let's do just a touch of yellow to the blue so this is going to be the blue with just a touch of yellow so it's not too different yet And then a tiny bit more touch there. And then a little bit more. And then you get that green. It's really lovely. If I add touch more yellow to that um, yeah. um, what other one can I do just to see um, so the blue that blue with the so if I do like a bit of the purple purple is i just love this purple so so much it's so vibrant and it's just drying so nicely right so we'll do a bit of purple with a touch of blue the blue they're, they're very strong colors the blue and the purple so already straight away i'm getting that immediately this this purple shade am i zoomed in enough for that one yet and that's just with a touch of the blue so I'm going to add another touch of blue. Obviously it's more watered down as well. Add a bit more blue. And yeah, it's a bit too much blue in that one there. such a nice colour, I'm loving the green, how the green's turned out, This, these colours, these shades here, beautiful, really lovely and that has dried amazing, so this is the purple with um, a tiny tiny drop of yellow and it makes this beautiful, I don't know what shade, like almost a burgundy sort of a, I can say anywhere I can describe it, sort of tone shade and then with a bit more yellow you've got this more sort of, um, I don't know almost like an apricot sort of color to it um and then obviously it's the these are more watered down as well these end ones here but um you can actually layer so if you put down a very watered down color shade so for example um just to show you here and then you allow this to dry once that's dry you can have a heavier uh, more pigmented color on top and you, that's how you can layer watercolors um so yeah i think that's all the shades i've got from those um yeah so just have a play around these are obviously joe's first set of watercolors if you head on over to her store you can get 15 percent off for a limited time only which is a really really good discount um, and you have yourself a beautiful set of watercolours. Now, obviously, 
each individual company or person making watercolors has their own unique um unique taste you know and so they mix their own sort of colors and so each individual company or shop or business whatever they will have their own unique color palette color range and so it's really interesting to see um to see joe's and then compare it like to other people to see what colors that they you know they have but i'm really really loving these colors so much especially how they're, they're granulating and they're even like granulating really beautifully um you know even in the lighter shades but i love this i love this one here these just i just love them all but yeah specifically these and how this purple this purple dries it's drying really really lovely and the paints themselves are very buttery very soft really really lovely so um yeah i hope this helps with understanding and getting to know joe's watercolors if you do have any questions just pop them below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible and don't forget to check out joe's shop and to make the most of her discount code while it lasts and um, until the next one take care